Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, brought to you by Livewire Markets. My name is Vishal Tekshnani, and this episode, we're going to get your portfolio in tip-top shape. We've got seven stocks for offense and defense. Joining me on the show today is Sean Fenton from Sage Capital and Matt Williams from Air Leap Funds Management. Welcome, gents. Uh, welcome, gents. Matt, starting with you, Qantas, Buy, Hold, Sell. It's a buy. Domestic tourism is going to take off. Mm -hmm. uh, pardon that pun. And, uh, you know, Qantas is the best place for it. They have not wasted this crisis. They are, they have, they are getting their business in ship shape condition. Okay. Speaking of not wasting crisis, uh, if Qantas was a bear, is Rex Airlines poking the bear because it's trying to take away market share from Qantas with that Sydney to Melbourne route? Buy, hold, sell on Qantas. Qantas is a buy. Uh, Rex is a bit of a sideshow. It just doesn't have the scale to, uh, to really impact things. You've got a stable duopoly structure there. Uh, Virgin went broke. You've got uh, Bain in there trying to earn a return. Uh, and that uh, can be a very profitable domestic business. Ultimately, International will come back. And Qantas has got a, a really valuable loyalty franchise that uh, continues to grow well. Okay. Sean, staying with you and switching gears to a defensive stock, Coles, PE of 24. Dividend yield of 3.4% fully franked. It's a fortress, it's got lots of toilet paper, buy, hold, sell. It's a hold, it's a bit of a snooze. Um, done you know, really well, uh, you know, food demands up, people are eating more at home, that's, uh, that's very good. Some extra costs going through the business, uh, stable earnings, but you're paying for it. Okay, you snooze, you lose though. Buy, hold, sell on Coles. Oh, I'm a bit boring, Vishal, I say buy. Uh, you know, I, I don't mind s s uh, sleeping. And uh, you know, Coles has more business improvement in it than potentially Woolworths does. Mm -hmm. And so I think for that reason, on a medium term, mm -hmm. they can grow profits maybe ahead of Woolworths, um, hopefully. Uh, so for that reason, it's a, it's a buy. Okay. More of a midfielder, Cochlear. Um, uh, it's in an otherwise growing industry, but it's the case that because of COVID, governments have commandeered hospitals. Buy, hold, sell. Uh, for me, it's a hold. Look, this is a high quality company. There's no doubt about it. Um, but the market has, is expecting it to have the same profit, uh, higher profit in 22 than in 19. I'm not sure that's going to happen. And at plus 40 times PE, uh, I think that's just a bit rich. So hold. Okay. Plus 40 times PE. It's also had a terrible year with that patent infringement, um, uh, the judgment that it's paid out. It had to raise a lot of capital. Buy, hold, sell, cochlear. Uh, I'm going to go buy. I agree that the PE is eye-watering, but um, it's not the most offensive valuation out there in the market. Uh, probably the thing for me is that uh, their major competitor, Advanced Bionics, now owned by Sonovas, had some uh, product recalls, and there's uh, a reasonable amount of displeasure in the uh, audiology community with that. Uh, they're going to continue taking market share as uh, hospitals reopen, pent up demand there, they'll uh, come back strongly. Okay, now we did ask our guests to bring a bonanza of stock ideas, so they're gonna give me their top defensive and top growth idea. Sean, hit me, what do you have? I think top defensive idea, I'd uh, throw Star Casino in there, Star, uh, Star Group. So uh, pretty defensive gambling exposures has been impacted by lockdown, but we've been uh, really seen through to the strength of their underlying uh, client base, the, uh, the desire to continue to, to visit the casino is quite strong. Their cash flow is pretty positive. As we reopen, that'll come back. Pretty attractive uh, valuation multiple. Okay, and the other stock? And in terms of growth, uh, you know, we quite like uh, ResMed as a, as a longer term growth story. Uh, it just continues to deliver. It's invested heavily in informatics, uh, growing its um, you know, broad penetration into uh, DMEs in the US. Sleep apnea is uh, not going away at all. It has been interrupted a little bit in terms of sleep labs and referrals. As that comes back, uh, we expect to see growth to, to continue to uh, fire through there. So quite like that. Okay. Sean is ga gambling on sleep apnea. Can you beat him? What have you got for me? Um, I think I've got the, nearly the best business in Australia, and people are sick of me talking about it, but Bunnings, owned by Wes Farmers. And now, Wes Farmers has other businesses, but Bunnings is 65% of the profit. And Wes Farmers, huge company, $3 billion in EBIT. The company has nearly no net debt. Uh, so it is just so perfectly placed to do either capital management or an acquisition, something to add value, and it yields 3.5% fully mm. franked. Okay, and your other stock? Uh, for growth, um, look, aristocrats had a really good quarter. I'm sort of hoping that that can continue on as the US sort of reopens up. Uh, casinos, uh, you know, the pent up demand, we've seen very strong performance from casinos as they reopened. That's good for aristocrat. Its digital business is going uh, along okay. Uh, so I'm hoping it can continue to have a, a good 12 months ahead of it. With the stock ideas from these fundies, your portfolio is going to be kicking goals in any economy.